Hey, we are Chris and Teresa and are obsessed with all things fiber and guiding you on your fiber arts journey. We own a successful fiber processing mill, an online needle felting business, experienced at raising all fiber animals, and are renovating a hundred year old school into a fiber arts retreat center. Processing, needle felting, yarn, roving, fiber animals, and our renovating progress are all topics discussed here. Think of this as your one-stop shop for advice, information, tips, and getting your questions answered on all things fiber. From raising the animals to the finished product and everything in between. So pull up a seat, make sure you're cozy, and get ready to be inspired while you learn. This is YouTube. Welcome to YouTube 128. We're up here in my office studio. Um, Eagle's Nest. Eagle's Nest. Call it a lot of things. Crow's Nest. <laughs> and... Inspiration is what it is. Yes, it is. If you can sit here and look out the window, mm -hmm. it is a lot of inspiration. Uh, mm -hmm. So what we've been busy with this week, Chris has been sick. So if you watched the YouTube, my solo performance, YouTube live on Tuesday. Awesome job. Awesome job. <laughs> um, that's, yeah, Chris wasn't feeling well, but Chris she's was back. sleeping through the performance. <laughs> <laughs> but she's back. And um, I've also been busy uh, needle felting. So I've been needle felting leaves. Where's your duck? He's right there. Oh. I've been needle felting leaves for the hanging plant retreat which is coming up February 11th through the 13th very quickly yes mm -hmm. and I don't have any pictures for anybody yet because it's me holding everybody up and Taylor forgets to bring the basket in the <laughs> the the hanger so it's a macrame hanger uh, that you're gonna make mm -hmm. and it's a basket that Marcy is going to teach you how to make and then you're gonna make a plant as well so the entire thing will be handmade by you and that's what I've been working on. Here's part of it here, some leaves. I have a long ways to go. And it's gonna be amazing. We also have a birding retreat coming up. That's new, it's not even on there yet. And so I uh, have made a bird that we're going to needle felt during this birding retreat. That's coming up, is it in April or May? It's the end of April, I, I think it's the end of April. Yep. But So watch for information on that. I would, the, if the bird is sitting right there, but I don't know. We should we wait. We should wait. Should maybe wait. Mm -hmm. um, the Nome Highway 32 happens to be the um, air highway of the migratory birds north and south. They all fly directly over Nome. It's just the craziest thing. Yeah, there's a whole pathway through North yeah. Dakota. Yeah. yeah, but this is this is the main one in... Mm -hmm. It's, I mean, it, it, there's times that the fields are all white with mm -hmm. snow geese, and it's just amazing. Yes, it's and amazing. we have um, ponds that we drive through, pretty much, on the way to my house, and mm -hmm. they're always full of ducks, so that's going to be part of one of the tours for the birding retreat. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we've just, we're just in the planning stages with the North Dakota Audubon on mm -hmm. planning that, so that'll be coming up, so you'll have to look for that in events. Yes. And looking forward to partnering with them for mm -hmm. a lot of different events. We'll be good. Yeah, we have a lot more uh, events that we're going to list soon. There's a photography weekend mm -hmm. coming. We haven't listed that yet. So we're just working on some of these things. So we're pretty excited mm -hmm. about yes. the Absolutely. upcoming events. Mm -hmm. So today uh, we have Rock Day at the school, which yes. is going to be fun. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to work on stuff together. Yeah, it's going to be and awesome. Food and visit. And gather we'll and just have fiber fellowship. It's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. looking forward to that. Yeah. Uh, so mm -hmm. we have been sharing a lot recently about the Giving Hearts Kit. Mm -hmm. And this is what you can make in the Giving Hearts Kit. I don't know if we showed this last time no, live. I don't know no. if we even had it. So this no. is... Like one very, there's many things that you can do, the ways that you can do it. This is the one Chris made. <laughs> and of course you see the one Teresa made. <laughs> but there's many different. And it's so uh, much fun. It is. You just, you just sit here. It's very, just, very easy. It's super easy. And it's, yeah. And I don't know what you so did with fun. the kit. Oh, it's down here. But um, you can buy, you can this get that. Kit. You get plenty of wool. 
-hmm. In pink and we'll red and white. Mm -hmm. And you can order that on gnomeschoolhouse.com and we'll send you out a kit. Mm -hmm. It does. And you get the needle mm -hmm. and the Romney Cormel yarn. It does um, cost $100, mm -hmm. but that is a donation to the Gnome Schoolhouse nonprofit. And this is our gift to you for, for doing that. Mm -hmm. And that is to encourage um, others to give uh, to the Gnome Schoolhouse nonprofit on Giving Hearts Day. Mm -hmm. So we'll have a YouTube live on February 9th at 7 p.m. Or and you can come here to the school. Yes. And we can all felt together. Mm -hmm. If you um, already have the materials and you don't even need a kit, you can still felt with us. Join us live on um, February 9th at seven. Mm -hmm. uh, and then gift your hearts to someone mm -hmm. and ask them to share um, this on social media or you can share your hearts and the story of the Gnome Schoolhouse nonprofit on social media and encourage them to uh, donate. So I want to tell you a little bit more about our nonprofit. Uh, when we dreamt up this entire idea <laughs> of um, joining together, um, we had a dream of being able to um, bring people here and let them experience what we enjoy. Yeah, the true farm to needle experience from mm -hmm. From barn to barn to yarn and 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 all the things in between. <laughs> yes, all of it. Yes. So I had had many uh, tell me over the years that they would love to come to my farm and uh, see the sheep that provide the wool for all my kits and everything that I make. And Chris had had people come to oh, her yeah, farm done many many tours for years to mm -hmm. see her all her fiber animals and so that was our dream mm -hmm. was to be able to have classes of all sorts not just fiber arts but have a place for making a makers uh, retreat and where you can come and stay and it would be all inclusive where you wouldn't have to leave mm -hmm. um, all on one large piece of property mm -hmm. And so uh, that's when we came up and we knew it had to be something interesting. I mean, it wouldn't mm -hmm. just a, a regular tin building in North Dakota would not uh, draw people. So that's when we decided we would renovate an old school building. Because mm -hmm. it's all about education. That's, mm -hmm. that's what we're all about. And um, that's when we poured all of our time, money and energy into this building. Yep. <laughs> And, um, and we and we the we started with a budget, <laughs> a very small budget, <clears throat> per what we ended up with, and we got to a certain point in the process that <clears throat> we 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 really were being a little disheartened because we thought we we were seeing our dream slip away because we weren't going to be able to afford to fund it because we knew what we were going to end up with monthly payments and bills and and how were we to fund all that we also wanted to do and provide to mm -hmm. to folks so 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 then somehow it, it got brought up to us uh, to make it a non-profit mm -hmm. and and we were at first we were mm. we were kind of terrified about that of giving our dream away and just you know. oh, well, and then the, the other part of having to ask for money when yes. we had started the whole dream with our businesses would you know, provide the all the works. funding, mm -hmm. uh, but the, you know, the building and COVID and yeah. um, it all went over the budget. And <laughs> so that's when we thought the nonprofit would be a good way to keep our dream alive mm -hmm. and we could bring in others. Um, to help us, like on the board, mm -hmm. and um, and grow it even larger. Yes, you know, afford us to, 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 yeah, just just go even bigger than what we had first imagined. Mm -hmm. So we were a little intimidated about nonprofit because we didn't know a lot about it, and so it's been a mm -hmm. huge learning experience, um, mm -hmm. especially when we're trying to do it all while building a building and. Uh, partnering our businesses and moving them here <laughs> yes. and trying to grow the business and then also um, 
running the gnome schoolhouse you know as well and yeah. getting it all organized so much so much and, so, and it was almost <clears throat> felt like we were i don't want to say failing but giving our giving our dream away not we were just so afraid that because <clears throat> because in a nonprofit, you have a board that makes all the decisions for that nonprofit, and and we're like, oh no, what if we have this hostile takeover of <laughs> of, of the of the, of the Clause nonprofit, and oh, oh, yeah, and that wouldn't. But I mean, from what we have learned, yeah, that can't happen if we have everything laid out on yes. mission and and like-minded board members that that support the the mission of mm -hmm. of of. Uh, of this of the nonprofit so yes so yeah our, our biggest purpose is to educate uh, there's been uh, so many questions and mm -hmm. we love answering them uh, and this is a school and we want to bring people here to see how animals are raised there's a lot of questions about agriculture and um, raising animals these days and, and oh my goodness it's getting worse and worse and worse can I bring this up Maybe later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so we just wanted to share a little bit about what our nonprofit is mm -hmm. and why we decided to turn it into a nonprofit. Our businesses are completely separate. Completely separate. Uh, but without our businesses <clears throat> supporting and making the payments on the school, you know, the nonprofit couldn't wouldn't have a home. Mm -hmm. So. They, they go hand in hand. And, and the nonprofit does not own the school. The nonprofit just uses the school to run its programming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the nonprofit will own the fiber education herd, <clears throat> the renovations, the barn, the pastures. That whole fiber animal education center will be, will be the, will be the, the nonprofits. Mm -hmm. And it'll provide the programming, which is the classes mm -hmm. and the retreats. And, and that's bringing kind of in the, teachers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, the, getting the animals here, that is such a, such a piece of the main piece that is missing currently. The most requested piece. The yes. Mm -hmm. By far. Yeah. And we have a board, that, a wonderful mm -hmm. board, yes. that we're working with. Which it may, it's, it's a lot more fun to have. You know, it's a lot more fun for us to join together, you know, instead of running our own lonely businesses. Yeah. But it's even more fun to have other, you know, like-minded people on our board that are excited about what we want to do and yeah. are willing to work and share. And, and the ideas and the, the brainstorming, it's, yes. <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't know why we were fearful Hesitant. at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, and so this is our, our very first Giving Hearts Day. Mm -hmm. And like I said, the, our live will be on February 9th. Mm -hmm. And... Um, all of this will go to the Gnome Schoolhouse nonprofit. All of the the money from the the kits, mm -hmm. and then all of then we're encouraging everyone to donate and encourage others to donate and tell our story on Giving Hearts Day. Mm -hmm. And and then um, there's a bunch of uh, other nonprofits on there as well. Um, so I mean, you can pick and choose from all of these wonderful other nonprofits as well. Mm -hmm. On this note, we're going to visit something that kind of sh shows how much education <laughs> there needs that's to be done. That's needed. That is needed, mm -hmm. yes. So, but, and Chris hadn't seen... No, I had seen the emails that that we've received stating how that they, they're not going to buy our products, they're not going to... Uh, do anything with wool because you have to kill the Or I've even sheep had or, like shame on you. Yeah, yeah. You know, for using wool products. Yeah. And, and I, you know, and I've looked up the things before because I'm just curious. Yeah, I had, and I had not. And the pictures are usually like a half scalped sheep. They're horrible. And they're fake. I mean, these poor, I mean, it's horrible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh. I don't, and... And it's it's not true. No. Um, sheep aren't kicked and <laughs> mistreated um, to get their wool. No. Our sheep are very loved. Yeah. And taken care of. Yeah. And, um, shearing does not hurt them. No, it helps them. Yes. 
You know, and, <laughs> and yes, there are there are breeds of sheep that you don't have to shear, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But there are breeds that you do have to shear, and if you don't shear them, uh, you know, it just continues to grow. And yeah. They like getting rid of that. Oh, they do. For Can you summer. imagine losing 24 pounds in the matter of a minute? <laughs> Yeah. That would be amazing. And so there's a lot of misinformation out there. Yes. And, mm -hmm. and we think the best way to educate people is to bring them here and have them mm -hmm. see um, yep. in person. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And experience the entire thing. Yep. And see yep. what there's some of the Some of the fiber animals, we actually comb. You know, mm -hmm. the camel. Um, um, some folks comb the cashmere off the goats. Some people still shear them. I mean, there's, there's many. Di there are some that, that we do comb, but and there's some that we shear. Mm -hmm. And it's... So that's it's part good. of the education that we mm -hmm. want to provide here. And that's yeah. what the, the nonprofit is going to help us with. Yes, absolutely. So any donations that we get, that's what that goes towards. Mm -hmm. Helps to, it not only helps to promote the fiber arts, it helps to educate about the agricultural end of, yes. of what we do. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And, and to come along other folks that, that, that want to start their small yeah. farm-based business. Um, and they don't know where to start. Yeah, yeah. We would love to help them. Absolutely. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the Internet makes the world a very small place. Mm -hmm. Yep. And on uh, that note, you should see what I discovered today. Oh, so my wall... Works very nicely just to stick your felt to. I love it. It's like a felt board. So you can just stick these anywhere. I love it. Yeah. I discovered it's this amazing. today. I just put. <laughs> How did you discover that? I, I just thought, hey, I wonder if this will stick up here. <laughs> and it sure did. It's cute. It is so I love cool. It. <laughs> Now we wish we would have left more, more balls exposed like that. Yeah, we could cover them with wool like that. The um, other big news we have, or we no. hope it's we hope it's big news. We we we, we we're pretty confident this time. <laughs> we were notified. Yes. That the elevator will be in. Well, start being installed. I don't know if this is well, a one day project. The, no, no, this is a week long project. Okay. But it, in <laughs> January. 31st. 31st is the day. I have it on the calendar. Yep. And we're excited because we've been waiting since <coughs> June. Mm -hmm. And as soon as that's done, that first YouTube will be in the elevator, in the <laughs> elevator as we ride it up and down. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We've been waiting Yeah. since before the grand opening when yep. it was supposed June to 3rd, be installed. June 3rd it was supposed to be installed. So stay tuned. Hopefully we have exciting news because it's the 20... Second. Oh man, it's coming up pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll move on to questions. We had a yes. few questions. I was wondering if you might consider having an additional maker's market in the spring or summer. We are working on it. Yes. We are of the same thought wave there. Yeah, mm -hmm. Yeah, we would love to. We enjoyed mm -hmm. our, we had a lot of success with our maker's mm -hmm. market, the Gnome for the Holidays maker's market. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping to start something here that could possibly grow yeah quite big so yeah uh, so stay tuned yes did i hear right is chris moving to gnome chris is moving to gnome chris will be living i'll be right out my window here right there <laughs> literally right across the street i will have the same walk to work as i had prior to the mill moving here Mm -hmm. I'm very excited, very excited We're to downsize into a, a smaller home. And um, yeah, the only thing I'm, I'm really, really sad about is, is the animals that are there that I care for. But we will have, we'll have them here. here. So I'll get to get my, my share Oops. of barn cleaning and, mm -hmm. and worming and all of that goodness. So mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, and that's, so yes, that's coming very soon. Very soon. So Chris needs to pack her whole house up, and then we're going to be homeless because our house is sold. So we will be homeless for about three, four months while our house is, is being built. So that'll be interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Anywho. My yeah. question is, can different fibers, either from various sheep or other fibers, be used in wet felting and or needle felting in the same project? Mm -mm. Yeah. Yes. Very definitely. Yes. I've, um, just in my bison, which I had, wish I had him here. He has many different. Yeah. So he has Surrey alpaca, and he has Romney, and he has, and he has Cormo. Cormo, and they all have a little different texture. So they mm -hmm. ought, they you know they give it all sorts of different textures. Mm -hmm. And and as far as wet felting, uh, you can wet felt and needle felt in the same. I do that all the time. Mm -hmm. in the same um, project. Um, however, some uh, wools, and they don't um, wet felt as well as others. Some True. are very good for that. I'll pack wet felts. Eh, yeah. Really okay. Yeah. Uh, merino wet felts very well, mm -hmm. and so does cornmeal. Mm -hmm. The finer the wool, the, the, the nicer it It's a, just yeah. a nice, smooth... Uh, mm -hmm. this, this is cornmeal. Yeah, that's cornmeal. And it, it wet felts very nice. Um, and there was more. Do different fibers adhere to each other? They do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I find a perfect color, but it is another fiber. So you don't have to hesitate. You can use all kinds. Mm -hmm. Experiment. Mm -hmm. They all Absolutely. felt differently. They all wet felt differently. So you're going you're gonna to want to experiment. Of course, and it, my, can, it can add beautiful texture. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's fun to try different fibers. Some felt really, really well. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's the end of the questions. And our question for last week that we had for everybody. Just wait. You got pause on that one. Because, Jane, Jane you had a bunch of amazing questions. And we were so looking forward and to answering them. They disappeared. Them. They disappeared. And we tried finding them. Oh, so dear one, either if you can repost them or... Email them directly And this to has us. happened with you before, Jane. Uh, I have seen your questions down there. And then when we go... And they're amazing. When we go a couple days later to answer them, they're gone. Yeah. Thankfully, before, I have copied and pasted them somewhere else. But I wasn't thinking of that this time. And, mm -hmm. and you had wonderful questions. We'd love to hear them again. Yes. It was a bunch of questions them. about our nonprofit, which would have fit wonderfully in here. But we can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, it might have... Um, helped others too. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna dig around some more because we thought it was on the last YouTube, but yeah, it could have been the one. But they're not gone, on there anymore. Gone. I don't know so, where they go. Jane, <laughs> we'd love to. So please have ask again. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. And on that. Note, okay. All right. So last week's question was, what wool does Teresa use in her kits? And Minnie got it right mm -hmm. because you've been paying attention. So thank you. It's Romney wool, yep. and it's what 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 we raise it's uh, mm -hmm. my favorite so that's what is used in the kits and our winner for this week is sarah shepperson so mm -hmm. thank you so much for paying attention and getting the answer correct uh, you can contact us through the contact form on bearcreekfelting.com and we'll get you a prize and the next week's question is why do we use romney in our kits if you can answer that why did we choose that? Why did we choose Romney? Um, that is the question for next week. You can answer below in the comment section, and mm -hmm. uh, that will get you put in uh, for a prize Yes. next time. Mm -hmm. And if you have any other fiber arts questions, any questions about business, anything that we're doing here, we'd love to answer them. So you can ask sure. them in the comments below. Mm -hmm. So that is about all we have. We have... A rug hooking retreat we want to I want to share a picture here of she had just sent it to me today oh, of the finished project that you will make at this rug hooking retreat and I didn't write down the date it is it's in February it's coming right up yeah, yeah. But you're gonna actually rug hook a sheep and it's adorable so if you've ever been interested in rug hooking it's a weekend here at the school mm -hmm. we'll be here uh, to pamper you and uh, you'll have a relaxing uh, get away and everybody that has come for a retreat like this has enjoyed it so much they don't want to leave so we would encourage you to come and enjoy uh, you don't need to worry about the weather if it blizzards for some reason uh, we do refund absolutely we can't no refund. <laughs> we no understand problem. Um, we do pick people up at the airport and yep. we're not really scared of the weather 
<laughs> North Dakotans. So we'll come get yes, you. Yes, absolutely. And unless, you know, it was so bad, but um, yeah, we, we can come get you and we'll bring you back. So you just have to uh, let us know. Uh, you can get your tickets on uh, gnomeschoolhouse.com for all of our upcoming retreats, which we have many, many more mm -hmm. um, coming and up. Are we having a sale on our rooms right now? Yes. Uh -huh. So during the week, though, we have reduced the cost of the rooms. So you'll have to check that out on gnomeschoolhouse.com. So you can stay during the week from Monday through Thursday at a reduced rate. Mm -hmm. And so if you want to gather your friends and have a a um, winter getaway, a winter getaway, you can come here and make things. You can come here and do whatever you want. Hang yeah. out and visit. Yeah. Relax. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's a fun place to just hang out. We have games. There's a lot of um, things to do just to hang out and relax. And even yeah. if it does storm, yeah, it's a fun place to hang out. It is. Mm -hmm. So. Um, just check out our events on gnomeschoolhouse.com mm -hmm. and if you have any questions just ask us if you mm -hmm. wanted us to pick you up at the airport you just let us know mm -hmm. and we will do that if you wanted to stay longer uh, than the days for the retreat which we've had requests for uh, you just contact us and we'll get it all arranged mm -hmm. for you yeah um, so thank you so much for watching yeah god bless you all stay healthy that's, that's all, all folks, folks. <coughs> Them at you. video, comment below, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.